and good morning from London. Heathrow, that is, the airport. I, unfortunately, I'm not staying. I'm just passing through. I'm going on a business trip to ultimate, and my last destination will be Bratislava. Well, it looks like I made it to Bratislava. I made it to the hotel. I checked in. Let's give it a quick room tour. I say quick because it is a small room. <laughs> Let's go to the front. So we got the, I did have to call down for the ironing board. I got that um, safe. And there is a free, yes, free mini bar. So waters, looks like a couple beers, sodas. It's interesting. There is the bathroom. Definitely, definitely a full size tub. Looks really nice. And this is a king size bed. Um, you see it's wood floors, it actually has some throw rugs. TV, it's actually a good size TV for the size of the room. Uh, looks like some teas, coffees maybe, or just tea. No, it's just tea. And a desk, and yeah, looks like a nice leather chair. Interesting looking table right here, and then here is the view out of my. I'm on the second floor, so this is my view. It's like someone's out there walking their little dog. And silly me, I forgot to mention what hotel I'm at. This is the Hotel Merrill's, M A R R O L S. And like I mentioned already, this is my first time staying here. I'll be here for a couple weeks. We'll see how I like it at the end. Okay, so I took a little break inside the room. Whew, it's cold out here. <laughs> First order of business, I need to find an ATM that takes American Express. I think I know where to go. Uh, from my previous trips here, uh, I need some cash. And then after I get cash, I'm gonna go to the probably Tesco and just get some small groceries, you know, maybe some snacks and maybe some cheese. I got a sense I can put cheese in that mini fridge. So that's first order of business. So there's a little bit of what the proper downtown looks like. This is not old downtown, but this is just their you know, businesses. So we got the trams that run by the wire, the electric wire. Oh, I think I see Tesco already. So I think that building over there is Tesco. Tesco is kind of like a uh, Walmart in the U.S. So it's interesting, my driver from Vienna to Bratislava mentioned the flags in front of the hotels. He was joking, of course, but he said, the more flags, the better the hotel. So this, this hotel must be pretty, pretty good. My hotel only has one flag. I'm not sure what that says about my hotel. All right, so now we're creeping into the proper old historic town center. This is where all the tourists go. And it's also really nice. There's some more sites. Looks like doing some restoration work on that building. And of course you need souvenirs. I think I recall this area also during, when I was here during the Christmas season, Christmas, Christmas markets were in this area as well. Okay, so I'm at the Tesco. Let's take a look at my favorite aisle. It's got tons and tons. Candy, sweets, chocolates. I am looking for something in particular. I'm looking for the rumbas. Uh, it's a three bit number that. Alright, now this is the brand that sells the rumbas or rumbas. I'm not finding the rumbas. That's that brand right there. Alright, right when I was about to give up, 
I found them. <laughs> they were actually right behind me, right when I filled that last segment. Uh, so this is the one I like right here. Rumba. And it tastes kind of like rum or pina colada, something like that. And they also got nougat. I really don't like the nougat. I like the rumba better. Good morning. So today is Sunday morning. Um, not much planned for today. I'm just going to go out and do some walking, walk about. I noticed they have this terrace here at the hotel. It looks nice, but I'm not sure if you would sit here at this time of the year. There's a view of the terrace. Probably during the summer season, this is a place to be. It does look nice, though. So there's a little interesting pizza place I'm going to have to check out sometime when I'm here. Uh, let's go check out the menu. Let's see the menu in English by chance. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Let's see, well, I'm not saying any English, but they might have one inside. If you can kind of translate what I would get, maybe this, you know, the margarita pizza, the fungi, which would be the mushroom. Oh, yeah, vegetarian. I think I'd try this place out. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is takeout a thing here? I don't know. <laughs> You're back home, you run in someplace and get takeout and take it back. Here, it seems to be a lot of dining in, you know, at the cafes and and one, not the restaurant, so I have to find out if they do takeout. Okay, this is pretty cool. So this is a one of the big malls here in Bratislava, Eurovia. Well, that's how I pronounce it anyway. And they have a ice skating rink. Neat. Lots of people out. It's about uh, it's about 10 a.m. Here's the Danube River. It's right outside the Eurovia um, mall, and there's the ice skating rink right over there. It's an impressive statue right here. But that's pretty cool that the river is right next to the mall. You see the big bridges often, often the distance there is the, they call that the UFO um, restaurant on top of that bridge. And there's another bridge over there. Over there. Whew. Pretty cold next to the river. Okay, I think it's about time for a little break. <clears throat> Indoor break that is, so I'm going to go inside the mall. It's a pretty impressive mall. I like the, the roof to this. <clears throat> it's a glass structure. I think this is, I'm assuming, a three-story mall. That's, a lot, that's what I see anyway. I decided to stop in while I was inside the mall at the Urvia at the, at the movie theater. They're actually showing glass. I really wanted to see that movie. It's actually really good. I enjoyed it. I'm not sure if it's getting good reviews though. I thought it was really good. That theater's huge in there too. <laughs> decided to walk on top of one, one of the bridges. Take a look at the Danube. Really strong current. So there's another bridge over there, and then over here is the better view of the, I guess they call the bridge now, UFO bridge, Novi Most, and you can see uh, some of those cruise ships, but I think those are permanent ships like restaurants and hotels. I took a quick stop at my hotel back there behind me. I think I'm going to go venture down to the proper downtown historical area. I haven't been over there yet. See if See if there's anything going on. Okay, here's the main uh, town square of the old historical uh, Bratislava. Uh, this is this area in front. That's actually down there is the opera house. Uh, but this area, we'll see tons of festivals. They'll, you'll see this kiosk, like from the Christmas markets, and also just from you know selling local stuff. Also, there's no rhyme or reason when you see stuff like that pop up. Seems like to me anyway, because I used to stay. At this hotel right here, this is the Carlton Radisson Blue. And I, I spent at least two two months there, two months and two weeks, over various trips. So I would, and my room is always on this side, so I would always see the festivals come and go. Okay, so now I'm gonna head to Aldi's. Haven't been there yet. Uh, and look for some food. I've been to Aldi's here before, and it's usually mad chaos in there. It's like a, it's almost like a warehouse warehouse style where pallets of food. I'm sure that all these in uh, back home is like that because we've never been into it uh, but this will probably wrap it up for um, a while because I don't think I want to film me going back and forth to work it's kind of boring Carmen is the better half of doing the daily vlogs me not so much uh, so probably once I see anything more interesting uh, during the week I'll definitely film that like if I go to some restaurants get some food stuff like that